Hello there, Libra. This is Sophie with Lady of the Unknown Oracle. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, I'm so excited to have you here with us. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much for all of your love, support, comments, everything. You know, you guys just make my life just... You guys make everything shine. So thank you guys so much for your support. I love you very much. I'm so happy to serve and just thank you. Thank you for giving me the privilege of being here for you. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, really quick before we jump in, I just want to note that I won't be assigning time frames to our readings together, guys. Okay. So whenever you see this reading, it's because there's something valuable here for you to take away. Uh, a shift in perspective, a truth, a lesson, something here is calling for your attention. Whatever doesn't apply, just leave it here. But um, if you are here, it's because there is something that will be of value to you. So whether this situation resonates with the details of your current situation or not, there is something here that could be useful to you in either the way your current situation evolves or dissolves. Okay, so something here will be useful to you no matter what you're moving into. This is for whatever energy is coming in for you. Um, but again, take take what, what you want and then just leave the rest. All right, this is going to be your general love reading. All right, if you guys have any further, uh, have questions or want further clarification on any of the elements that I cover in today's reading, you can book a personal reading with me. All of the information is in the description box below. For those of you that are familiar, I do a Celtic cross spread and I clarify each card and I work through each card and clarification one by one. All right, so your current position, your current circumstances, what you're thinking about, what is in your heart space, what you currently came out of in your past, what is coming in for you how you see yourself, what's in the environment, what your fear is, and what the outcome is. The energy can be interchangeable, okay? So where it doesn't resonate for you, it could be resonating. It could resonate for the person that you are connecting with. In this case, this could be an Aries, okay? Someone that you feel very passionately towards. <laughs> If um, if you identify as a masculine energy, all right, someone has stricken your fancy and you are feeling very, very passionately towards them. And for the feminine energy, right, this is this masculine energy here. Definitely you've you've got their attention. They see a very dynamic new beginning with you. I'm going to put these cards back in case they want to come back out in a different part of the spread. But it's funny because I was actually going to do, I was going to do another sign first. And while I was shuffling, while I was shuffling, I got the justice card. And so I just knew, I just knew I had to do you guys. With the world and the king of swords, you could be dealing with another air sign. All right. You could be thinking about taking things to the, to another level, to another level with them. Okay. You could be, you could be closing things off too with an air sign. She's very strong air. Libra, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this could also be you, Libra. Just getting to a point in your life now where you want commitment. You want someone who's willing to put the time in. And you're not really playing games anymore. You're really standing in your power. Let's see what's going on, please, with Libra. What's going on for Libra in love, please? Right, let's see what we've got for you. Four of Swords, healing. Okay, the Four of Swords could be contemplation and meditation, but I'm getting very strong healing from the Four of Swords, the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer, someone who has really remained hesitant in how to move forward with you, someone who could have been healing in from a past situation. You could have cancer in your chart as well, Libra. So if that's the case, um, you know, this is really you healing, trying to move past, trying to move past a traumatic event or something that really hurts you because the four of swords comes after the three of swords. So something had happened 
that you were really trying to move away from and to do that you had to heal right and with can't with with um the chariot you know you've got the yin and yang right in order for the chariot to move forward you have to achieve a certain level of inner balance to move forward so i think that's where you're at right you're getting to a place now where most of the healing has been done and you're finally ready to move forward yes absolutely with the magician you could be connecting with a with a gemini Vir, um, virgo or aries very strong aries now with the emperor having come out what's challenging this is the knight of wands what's on your mind is judgment what's in your heart is taurus a lot of major arcana wow and the recent past um death coming in you've got the seven of cups why do i feel like all of this is lopsided my apologies <laughs> your how you see yourself is the two of wands having to make a decision yeah because let me tell you something if all of these major arcana are people <laughs> libra you've got some explaining to do king of swords coming back up in your environment fear here is the five of cups potential outcome is the ace of pentacles beautiful 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 all right so <laughs> quick roll call all right I see very strong Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, uh, as individual major arcana. Now, we also have a, a king of swords, so, so a strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very strong Gemini here with the Magician. Very strong, very strong Gemini. And very strong Aries as well with um, the Emperor that had come out. Cancer as well. All right, so you've got options, Libra. I'm just gonna throw that out there because between this being your, this is your 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 in, um, energy coming in, confusion. You know, depending on the cards that are surrounding it, it could be options or it could just be not knowing which direction to move into. But you've got so many people here. Like, how many people are you? <laughs> how many people are involved here, Libra? Don't get me wrong. Like, you could have you could have Scorpio. Scorpio and Taurus in your chart, right? So this could just be the, the many facets of your personality. This could just be the many the many facets and dimensions that make up your identity and how you're perceiving everything. So while your brain could be focused on the present, your heart could be focused on the past. You, you know what I'm saying? So it really depends. It could just be you and you are really just confused because maybe you're dealing with one person but this person is giving you mixed signals it could be that as well there is definitely a sense of inconsistency though with the knight of wands here because you want commitment and you know a decision has to be made you actually cleared out a lot of energy in the past to make room for this brand new future that you feel prepared and equipped to handle your potential outcome here is the ace of pentacles so there's a new beginning here but you're afraid that perhaps the grief is going to get the best of you you know a decision has to be made and whatever, whoever this air sign is, we are going to clarify. Whoever this air sign is, I feel like they're kind of what is either going to help you or hinder you. Okay? But either way, you are very determined to make the right decision for yourself. Again, overarching energy, four of swords with a chariot. You know what you want. You know what you want. You know what you need to do now. It's just a matter of standing in your power and doing it. So each, each card will be clarified with, um, with one card, except for the outcome and incoming energy. These will be clarified using three, three different cards. Okay. Well, three cards, they're all going to be different, but overarching energy for the clarification is the nine of cups. Okay. So pursuing a wish come true, but above all the nine of cups is still not the 10. So we're talking here about personal happiness, achieving that, which makes you happy. So this isn't making other people happy. This isn't living a life by other people's standards. This is by doing, by living a life that is reflective of your core values and what you seek to achieve moving forward. Beneath that, you've got the five of cups again. So this is even though sometimes you might be a little bit sad about the past, the five of cups though in this particular deck has the young lady looking at the two cups that are still standing. Okay, so your greatest bet in terms of advice here is that in order to really align yourself with your wish fulfillment in order to really align yourself with fulfillment by you know by your own self is by focusing on the things in your life that are still consistent and the things in your life that have proven that they are a, a, a cornerstone to your stability 
All right. You right now are feeling the magician. This could be your counterpart as well. If you're dealing with a Gemini Virgo Aries, someone here is feeling very confident about making a connection happen. Very, very confident. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. If you're dealing with a Leo Libra, this person, they are, they are super prepared for you. <laughs> they are super, super prepared. An offer is most likely going to be coming in. They, they really want you. They really, really want you. Um, if this isn't Leo, if you're not dealing with a Leo, you're dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, an Aries, um, this person feels prepared, but they may not be telling you that. They're holding something back. All right. It could just be the fact that it could just be that they they don't want to tell you yet that they're ready to start things because maybe they're still getting over some things. Remember, we do have the seven of cups. So this person could have multiple people in their environment. And with the conflicting, the challenging energy here is the Knight of Wands. So someone here is prepared, but someone also could be holding back. With the Knight of Wands, we have inconsistent energy. We have Libra and Taurus here with the Empress. So, so here's the thing. With the Empress, first of all, let's, let's say this. With the Empress being a, an energy, right? Someone's desire to expand is constantly coming and going. So... For example, if you are dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, they know they want to start something permanent at some point, but they're not at a point yet right now, currently, where they really know how to be consistent. Or, as is the case with fire signs, right? With Leo and just fire signs, Aries, Sag. For them, expansion means change. For them, expansion means things always being on the go, adventure. You know, it's not about, it's like for them, stability isn't about the routine of things. It's the predictability of the unpredictable. They like a life where things are constantly moving. The routine is nice, but only if every now and then there's a switch up, a dramatic switch up. So unless you're ready to do that, Libra, unless you're willing to participate in that type of lifestyle where you're all, you know, every now and then you just, you know, routine is this month but then next month is all about traveling and the month after that is all about creating your business and the month you know what i'm saying like if you're not prepared for a a life that serves to to be um caters to variety then this leo may not be very interested because it looks like that's what they're looking for in their partner they're looking for someone who has that same fiery passion and is willing to kind of be everywhere at once on the flip of a dime and feel in their power doing so it's it's not you know, it's, it's very easy for them to switch in and out of gear like that. That's what they're looking for with the Empress. Um, otherwise, otherwise, this could also be the fact that there are so many major, there are so many major arcana and court cards and the seven of cups is here. Um, someone here could be feeling, you know, like they want to start things. They want to have a commitment, but they may not be ready to commit they may not be ready to expand they want they're getting into a mind frame now where they do want commitment but they're still you know they're still trying to let go of their tendency to be to go from one person to another and so while of all the all the people they have in their environment you know you are the one that shines brightest they may not be quite ready right now to tell you that they are committed it feels like this person here is in a is in a space of self-discovery like they're pleasantly surprised by your presence but they're not really sure how to say that because that's really out of character for them all right so again i'm seeing an offer here but we have to clarify because you know clarifications give us more information on which direction the the cards are heading but here with judgment okay what's on your mind is judgment with the page of cups a decision to bring into reality something that was once fantasy okay judgment is making a hard decision it's something that is going to play a very significant role in the other elements of your life. The Page of Cups tends to be a little bit fantasy-like, very innocent, naive even, but, you know, very free-spirited. So whatever is on this person's mind, all right, I feel like this is, I feel like this isn't you, Libra, and I'm going to be completely honest. I don't feel like this is you. This could be you. This could be you where you feel very confident, but you're holding back. You know, maybe you're at a point where you want to commit, but you're not really sure how. You know, that could definitely be you. And so on your mind, you're like, you know what? I have to create, I have to create a reality now from all of this daydreaming. Like I want this person and I want this connection, but in order for that to become reality, 
I have to actually make a decision. And you could be feeling the pressure from this other person as well because they're standing so strongly in their power that someone who's standing in their power is putting their foot down. They're putting their boundaries in place and they're saying, look, are you with me or are you not? Right? So I have no doubt if you're dealing with someone who is in their power, they are naturally making you making you really look at things in a very real way so that they can move on if you're not on the same page as them. Right? So um, there's a need here to make a decision to, to stop living in, in, the, in the fantasy world and really start to create something if that's what you want. In your heart, you've got the Hierophant with the lovers. Strong soulmate energy here, man. Wow. Strong soulmate. Strong soul connection. If not a soulmate, you know, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, whatever title you prefer to use, this is a very strong soul connection. But not just in a divine sense, but also in a very strong, you guys could have a very fruitful life together. So this could very well be your lifetime partner, especially if this is a Gemini, especially if this is a Gemini, especially if this is a Taurus, because with the Empress here, you know, these are people who are standing in their power and are very connected not only to the divine, but are divinely connected to you. All right, so very strong Gemini here. This is also the person that's in your environment, could be Gemini too. So um, what's in your heart though is commitment. In your heart, you know, you're feeling very strongly towards this person. If this is not, again, if this is not you, if this is not your energy, realizing that you have to create something concrete out of what was once just in your in your thoughts or in your emotions, this is that other person. They feel so strongly connected to you. If this is a Taurus, like the thing is, you know, when it comes down to Sagittarian energy, I believe that's the Knight of Wands. Um, it, I think it's connected to Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure. If not, you know, just the fire element in general. Fire and air have a lot in common in terms of liking to have their options open. They like exploration. They like being everywhere at once. They like touching and going, touching and going. You know, this is an element or this is a person who wants commitment, but it's not part of their nature to stay in one place. But they, man, they feel so divinely connected to you, Libra. It's ridiculous. This is a strong soul connection, divinely guided, divinely guided. In the recent past, you made room for this. You or this person made room for this. They could have also been connecting with a Scorpio, Knight of Swords. They could have been connecting with a Scorpio that they left something with and it just... It was very disruptive, you know, it was very abrupt. The ending was very abrupt. Um, this death could have been, you know, this this transformation could have been outside of a relationship with an earth with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It could have been just a very swift ending with a Scorpio as well. Um again, if this is your air sign here, if this is your air sign, they've undergone a recent transformation as well. They've died to an old version of themselves and they're coming in as someone brand new. They're coming in as, as a magician, which is identifying with Gemini. So Libra, if you're dealing with a Gemini, you better buckle in your seatbelt because they're coming in hot and they really want you. You know, they're working out of the, some, out of some stuff though. They're ironing out some old habits and old ways of being, you know, but they're definitely on the road to creating a better version of themselves. If it's just an air sign in general, okay, this person that you're dealing with, let's just start, let's just finish there, not finish, but let's just with this inter part of the interpretation, let's just say for whoever you're dealing with air or not, this person put either an end to a, a connection with someone else in the past or they put an end to an old way of being in the past just so that way they could be prepared for this type of union. So they're still in pro in progress. They're still trying to work through their stuff, but they really are ready. But it, they're, you're going to meet a little bit of resistance from them because this is really outside of their nature. They're not used to feeling so strongly to you know with somebody. And if that's not the case with them, then this is you. You made room for this in your recent past. And you're realizing now to have this, to create it now in, in the real world, you have to make certain decisions that are really outside of your character, at least in the way that you've been in the past. Coming in, though, you do have the Seven of Cups. So what's that about? With the Hermit, mm, Virgo is now on the table. So this person, this person could be involved with a Virgo or you could be involved with a Virgo, right? Seven of Swords speaks to defeat, all right, not defeat, but it speaks to like, um, you know, just sneakiness, deception, lying. In this particular in this particular deck, 
you know, the, the Seven of Swords speaks to futility. It's it's that feeling of, it's, it's, it's the victim side of the Seven of Swords. It's not the Seven of Swords of you being the person doing the wrong thing. It's you being the person who wishes if they had known that that person was a cheater or a, or a thief, right? If you knew, you would have never signed up for this. Right, you would have never signed up. It's that feeling of hopelessness, of helplessness. Like, why didn't I, why couldn't I have just abided, listened to the red flags? You know, why couldn't I have just listened when I saw them? Because with the Nine of Swords, you have anxiety. You know, it, it's just sleepless nights, sadness, you know, just feeling really tortured mentally. Um, if you or the person that you are dealing with, you're connecting with, you know, is currently coupled still. For example, this Gemini. In your heart, you want marriage with this Gemini or this Gemini wants marriage with you. Um, we have so many court cards. We have the Seven of Cups. We've got the Lovers. So I can't eliminate, especially with the Empress also being here with three, I can't eliminate three-party energy altogether. There is a the Seven of Swords. So there is some deception going on here. It could be that you or the person that you are connecting with is in a connection with another person could be a scorpio could be another air sign could be a virgo could be a taurus or another gemini right either way though you could be connecting with somebody who is still with another person and what what's happening now with the with this coming in is that they're starting to realize that the person that they're with or you are starting to realize that the person you're with they're in this marriage or committed relationship with isn't the one for them because this hermit, this Virgo, whoever this person is, is removed from this connection. This connection right here is between you and your person. This hermit is another energy entirely. I don't know who this Virgo is. I don't know who this Virgo is. I don't know, you know, the hermit doesn't have to be a, a Virgo. It could just be another individual who, you know, they are kind of suffering. Like they are being treated as an option. They are being treated like they are on the back burner. And so this person is is at the receiving end of, of the Seven of Swords. Because imagine if you're in a three-party situation and you're with somebody, with somebody that you know is already coupled, you're in the know as the third party. But that person, you know, that wife, that husband is not in the know. They don't know that they're part of a three-party, but you know. So this person with the Seven of Swords is, is, you know, this person, all they know is that the person that they are married to is not giving them the, atten the attention that they want. So this person could be in a place of suffering. Again, this could be you. This could be the person that you're married to. This could be your third party if you are in a third party. But someone here may not be aware of the three-party situation. But they, they're they definitely aware that they're being treated as less than whoever this her, whoever this hermit is to you. And that and they're withdrawing. They're withdrawing their, their communication from you. They're withdrawing their emotion. They don't, you know, they, they kind of, their their suspicion is on high alert right now. They, they, they feel, they feel like things are shifting. They feel that your attention is elsewhere. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's a Virgo here. This Virgo is coming up very strong. But either way, what's coming in, what's coming in is this confusion. Someone may want it all. You know, someone here, it could be this fire sign or this Gemini, whoever this person is that is trying to act outside of who they typically have been. They might have a point coming in where they kind of revert to their old ways for a minute. Because they're going within and they're trying to find clarity. You know, maybe they even feel really bad about the type of deception that they've been involved in with the past, treating others as options. But it could be also that they have so many options in their environment that they are kind of mentally tortured because they're like, do I want to commit though? Do I really want to commit? I want everyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just like, I want him and I want her and I want her and I want him and I want him. And I, you know, I want to be with multiple people. I want, I want to, you know, like that, that fear of missing out, right? FOMO, like they don't want to miss out on all these people, all these new people that are coming in. Again, nine of cups, right? This is wish fulfillment. What is your wish though? What is their wish? And this is the crossroads. They're starting to learn to become somebody who is more responsible and more, um, you know, that their stick to itiveness with commitment in general is beginning to evolve. But they're they're really struggling. 
they're struggling and this may not be this other person libra it could be you you could be struggling big time to to change yourself what's coming in is that you're going to face a challenge you're going to face a challenge someone is some type of test someone is going to because of the pressures in your environment because of the pressures involved by all of the people who are present or just the pressure this one person who you really care about is going to put on you this pressure is going to push you to really 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 consolidate your inner world like you need to really decide now what it is you want because demands are being made and you have to be prepared if this nine of cups is not you this is someone that you're connecting with someone else really wants to make sure that they're keeping their happiness in check and if they have to cut you out they got to cut you out it's not all about you right it's not all it's not all about you people people are really just doing their best with what they have to be as happy as possible so you might think you know that some people are going to wait for you but i feel like you're going to feel that pressure and if that's not you libra that's your counterpart you're standing in your power and you're putting the pressure on and this is them realizing that you know <clears throat> they're not messing with just a regular person they're, they're messing with someone who is in their power who knows what they want they know they need to be decisive they know it all right how you see yourself or how they see themselves is the two of wands from the two of swords very very stark contrast but the but the, the message here is the need to come out of indecision and just make a damn decision whoever this is make a decision there's no no more sitting around and contemplating and what do i want or blocking your emotions right there's a need here to really now get right with yourself and say okay what do i want what do i see coming in for myself what do i desire how can i truthfully live live according to what it is i want or what you know just my nine of cups what does that look like but the king of swords okay this could be again gemini right if you are dealing with gemini you guys are currently in separation okay if you guys are confirmation moment <laughs> confirmation moment if you guys are dealing with a gemini without a doubt you guys are soulmates for sure you guys could just be in separation this gemini could be married okay this gemini could definitely be married and that's why you guys are separated very little communication but there's a bond here for sure absolute sure um they could be with a karmic and that's who this virgo is it doesn't have to be a Gemini. It could be a Taurus as well. All right. It could be a Taurus who is married. They are in a soulmate, um, you know, a contract, a soul contract with someone else. Someone who is currently their empress. This empress could be pregnant with the knight of with the knight of wands, right? That's a younger energy. This this could be uh, the mother of your child, or not the mother of your child, the the you know the mother of their child, right? Someone who could be pregnant with another, with, you know, with with, with a baby. Um, but for sure you know there there's definitely things are getting complicated here there are a lot of people present if you guys see your situation here and i just can't touch it in this in this reading you guys know how to get in touch with me you can go in the description box below and we can do a personal reading to clarify some stuff for you okay i do my best but it's like in situations like these there, there's a lot there's a lot of people but overall okay in the environment there's someone here who's very decisive they know what they want and they're looking to achieve the right results they're looking to achieve the right results if this is an air sign i'm seeing that they could already be in a karmic relationship with another person if that's not the case right they just are really needing to get right with their decision on how to move forward in commitment or not three of wands is waiting it is waiting but you've already kind of put you've kind of put it out in the universe already what you want and it's just a matter of hearing back so this person is either waiting to see an outcome or this person is just waiting to get into a, a better a position with you to take this connection further in truth though this person does know what they want and they're willing to do what's necessary at the very least they are waiting until they feel this way to make the proper decision so they're not going to make a decision until they feel very much in their power like like what they want is it really resonates with them it really aligns with them so they won't be in this energy they won't be in this confused energy when they finally do get back to you they're going to be sure they need to be sure for their own for their own sake and if that's not the, your counterpart this is you this is how you feel you're not going to make a decision until this confusion lets up which is good as the hermit energy you will find that you will find that clarity by going within 
remember that your overarching energy here is the four of swords so you know healing from past from the past um you know past pain but also taking into consideration everything that you've learned up to this point you know you, you have the the, the um, what's it called excuse me scrap that i was going to say three of three of swords but that's not here the seven of swords is so but you do have a lot of pain and anxiety here so healing from that is going to be instrumental in you being able to make this decision confidently all right your fear here is the five of cups with the ace of cups your fear your fear here is that there is some type of loss that's going to befall this connection like somewhere along the way somewhere along the way you're going to either you know because the five of cups has two cups in the background with the ace of cups this tells me that of the two cups you're thinking that maybe it's just you right this might just be you your fear is that you are going through all of this internal conflict for someone who maybe doesn't even share the same feelings that you do but they do they definitely do this is soulmate energy you know just just soul connection energy this person reciprocates even if they're not showing it right now your fear here is that this is really just you because with the five of cups what do you have in the back two of cups what is the two of cups the two of cups card talks about reciprocating loving energy right a loving back and forth relationship where there's balance between the two people but with the only the ace of cups showing up here it's like you're going to grieve the fact at some point that you have been doing certain things with the with the with the intention of getting closer to this person only to find out once you finally get there that they never actually had that same energy back that they didn't really like you that way or didn't love you that way and it really does it, it really is conflicted here because this person is either holding back a lot of information about themselves because they don't want to commit to something too soon before feeling really right with themselves or this is somebody who's already in a karmic situation with someone and they're not opening up to you because it's not appropriate like you guys could be in a sex only relationship and it's not appropriate for them to let you into their emotions because maybe they're really grappling with the fact that you're making them feel differently about their whole life and they don't want to let you on right they don't want to lead you on in case they go and change their mind like this person whoever this is it could be you or your counterpart this person is really trying to change themselves they're really trying to get somewhere in life but they are at, at that transition point where they're you know they flicker back and forth they flicker back and forth one day they're who exactly they want to be but you you have to understand be, remember libra that to be a certain way is is a is a result of your rituals you know it's a rich of your habit it's a ritual it is the result of your habits you are what you constantly do so this person is every day practicing to become a better version of themselves because it's something that you've inspired in them but at the same time it goes so far against what they have what they're used to being that they can't help but revert back every once in a while because they really are going against the grain with this and this could be you this could be them fearing that you don't reciprocate right do with that information what you will if you want them to know that you do reciprocate you know they're looking for some kind of sign from you of reciprocation they're afraid that they're putting in this time and change and effort for nothing all right but let's take a look here at the outcome we've got the ace of pentacles so there's an offer here from the divine all right it's not a person it's divine it's the divine but let's clarify two of cups <laughs> what did we just say two of cups three of swords strong strong three-party energy here now with the wheel of fortune something's going to be changing this the status of this situation being a three-party situation is going to be changing very soon the wheel of fortune is not only a change in luck but it's a very fast change so whatever your situation is looking like right now libra with this person it's going to make a 180 very soon because what's going to happen is with the ace of pentacles this isn't just an offer this isn't just any offer you know it's not the knight of pentacles coming in and so it's this person coming in with an offer when you have one of the suit one of the one of the you know one of the is that oh my god it left my one, one of the suits you know one of the one of one of the other cards you know court sorry court when you have one of the court cards come up with an offer you know 
It's an intended offer, but human beings are naturally flawed. So how that turns out is really just to the best of their ability, right? And all of our abilities at some point reach some kind of peak. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is a divine gift. We can't know what the limits of this gift are. This is the offer that Source, Spirit is giving us. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is confirmation of divine timing. This, when it is the... When it's the right time for you guys to come together, when it's the right time for this to, this connection to strengthen, this three of this three of swords, this three party energy, this betrayal, this dishonesty, whatever this is that they're not telling you, whatever is keeping them conflicted and in this confusion, this space of confusion, that's going to fall away. When it's time, when it is time for you guys to come together in divine union, when it's time, there is going to be an undeniably opportune moment to drop whatever this three of swords is whether it's a pain a past experience a current three-party situation a current heartbreak a betrayal um not knowing what you want and so you're not saying anything a lie whatever the source of this three of swords is for you it's going to fall away the moment it is time and an opportunity will present itself all right, and this is what is coming in. This is the this is not what not coming in. This is the potential outcome here. So I will say this, Libra. If you guys have been maintaining distance, if you guys have been maintaining distance because you've been trying to respect the process that this person is going through, like you see what they're going through and you're like, "You know what? A decision has to be made." And I will make that decision. You know, I'm standing in my power. I'm making my decision. You aren't compromising yourself for this person at all. But you do kind of admire them from a distance, right? Do not change that. Don't change that way of thinking because this person is slowly but surely getting to this point themselves where they are, they're making these decisions on their own. They're not getting pressured by any kind of outside energy. They are feeling the need to respect who and what is in their environment because that's who they are becoming they are becoming the type of person who respects people's time and energy and investment and so because that is who they are becoming they are respecting you more because you're respecting yourself like they see your power and they try to mirror that back to you so this person is making this progress on their own using you as inspiration so don't stop working on yourself if you do have to create distance more distance with this person in order to stand in your power do that because it's you standing in your power that's inspiring this person to meet you to match you all right um and again it could be the other way around if you don't feel very much in your power it could be that you are face to face with somebody who brings you very much into this feeling of wanting to be in your power no matter how along the way you falter and maybe you're afraid that they don't reciprocate, but they most certainly do. The question here, Libra, is will you be ready when this opportunity happens? That's the question. Will you be ready or will they be ready for when this opportunity happens? So I would say this. Readings like these are always based, well, readings in general are always based on the energetic space of the moment. Okay? So... With this here being this way, this is all contingent on things remaining the same. This potential outcome can change the moment you change. So if you leave, if you leave this reading, you click off and you say, oh, well, we are destined to have this two of cups and this new beginning together. So I'm going to put more pressure on this person to make it happen. That changes the energy right then and there. And now this potential outcome is no longer the potential outcome. The potential outcome now can be completely different. The potential outcome is based on the reading on the on the energy remaining exactly the same should all things stay consistent this way this is what is bound to happen but if you change this under the because you're under the impression that there's nothing you can do to change this outcome oh no oh no just breathing different sometimes <laughs> can change the outcome okay um not that easily you know but what i'm saying is free will changes everything okay this outcome happening this way is completely is completely contingent on the fact that you proceed the way you have been or vice versa. The other person proceeds the way they have been. Any change to the plan and the whole timing that the divine has for when you receive this new opportunity to couple with them, it, it could be extended for another year, two years, three years. 
It could happen. It, it might be delayed until the end of your lifetime. Who knows? So things have to remain the same. Keep focusing on yourself. Do not give more than you are prepared to. Keep doing what you're doing, Libra. And if this isn't you, this is your counterpart, you know, just keep on improving yourself. Things that I can confirm here is a definite soulmate connection, definite reciprocation, although someone is not really giving 110% communication, maybe not even a real physical reciprocation, but there's a connection here that one of you feels very tangibly and the other, you, you're kind of feeling like maybe the other person doesn't feel that way because they can't openly express it, but they most certainly share your sentiments. They most definitely share this. They're, they're definitely awakening to the fact that this connection is next level. For sure. Okay. Libra, I love you so much. Thank you so much for giving me the privilege of doing this reading for you. I am so excited for you. Keep standing in your power. That is that is what will bring all things that share the same vibration into your life. All right. So whatever you've been doing, keep doing it. Because if you have been wanting love, it's coming. And oh boy, is it coming. Be ready. <laughs> be ready okay i love you i'll see you guys next time again if you need anything if you guys would like a personal reading just check out the information in the in the description box down below and i will see you guys next time okay libra i love you i'll see you